An empty retail space in Clark County is getting new life. That's right. Rose's Discount is opening up shop in Springfield in the Northland Plaza where an old Kmart used to be. Rob Sneed working for you, showing you how the area is benefiting from the plaza. The managers here tell me they've seen applicants stand outside as early as 6 this morning hoping to fill out one of these. Now many of the applicants here tell me getting this job means more to them than anything. More money, <laughs> more stability for my child, that's really what it is. Marsha Elliott is applying for one of many positions the store has opened at the moment. And she says her five-year-old child is her driving force behind making it out Wednesday afternoon. I'm her mother, so I have to be the main one to take care of her, so I have to try to find another job with day hours. That's what I really want. Like Elliot, Heather Cutlip is needing a second job to make ends meet, and this mother says it's all about having more financial stability. Um, the hours are just not all where, all where we need them to be. You know, I'm getting 40 hours some, 20 hours some. Um, can't live like that. I need. 40 hours all the week, all the time, so come out see if I can get a second job. The location for Rose's Discount Store in Springfield is where the old Kmart used to be in the Northland Plaza before shutting down. So I wanted to know just about how much money is at stake. I reached out to the county auditor and found out that in 2012, the owner of the plaza was charged $119,218 in property taxes. That's up from 2011 when the county collected $106,460 in property taxes, which is good news to various schools, libraries, city and county municipalities who received these funds. So we're taking this empty building that you see here today, interviewing these nice people here, and they're going to help me fill it up with get some good product in here. Store manager Tony Simmons tells me he and his staff have interviewed more than 100 people before noon and expect that number to continue to rise by Thursday. He has some advice for those looking to hear the phrase, you're hired. Come prepared and have a personality. Two don'ts, don't look away, and don't be eating while I'm talking to you. <laughs> and Mr. Simmons tells me he hopes to have a decision made by the end of this week. Reporting in Springfield, Rob Sneed, 2 News, working for you. Rose